Hello again, it's now time for Mission. We start Mission from the Ashanti region where persons with disabilities in the Setra Central District want government to reverse the decision to take those 60 years and above of the 3% Common Fund. Per a directive from the Common Fund Administrator, such persons are to be placed on leave support. Affected persons say they are struggling to live since leave is inadequate and they are yet to be registered. Many of them are over 60 years and they fend for themselves because they are off the 3% common fund. Per a government policy, they are to be placed on leap instead. One of my biggest problems is the over 60 years. And he says, no, we are not giving them because the directive says those who are more than 60 years should go to leap. The blind union is worse off. Some look say, my situation, you know, blind for no. But I couldn't have a word in the school. As I am talking to you now, there is no member of the blind union on leap. Thirty of our members are over 60 and so they have been taken off and placed on leap. But we don't get the funds from leap. Yapokria is over 60. She had been a beneficiary of the 3% common fund. She received support to service. I ordered locals so popularly called Azuma Blues to sell to make some income. But she has been taken off. Her story is sad. My children support me, but they have lost their jobs. She feels dejected and betrayed. I went to the assembly and was annoyed at what I was told, but I was assured by the officer that he would work things out for me. Yapukia threatens not to perform her civic responsibility due to this. I voted Absolutely. in the last elections when I was not well, but now that I am well, I am being told I can't benefit from the common fund. Then I won't vote again, and my family too will not. Yeah, is not alone. A colleague, Yamwa, is visually impaired too. Her worry is to feed herself. I'm fed by my children. If they get it for me, then I'll eat. 68-year-old secretary of the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations is also affected. I encountered him in the afternoon, but... I had to arrange our interview at night to enable him to do some work to earn some income to feed himself and his family. There are PWDs who are old and lack strength. How do they feed themselves if you take them off common fund and put them on leap? Our members are questioning us, thinking we are benefiting and leaving them out. Many have taken drastic decisions because of this directive. Some PWDs are quitting their associations because they are no more getting support from Common Fund. The Assembly in responding says any decision to reverse the directive has to come from the Common Fund Administrator. 
we did not take them off. It's a policy. Right. It's, it's a policy. The policy says that if somebody is at 60 years, the person should move to leap. And those below 60 years, be given a, a workable kind of sponsorship. So if you look at our program, uh, frigies and businesses that were set up was where we sponsored. Okay, so uh, the what do we call the leap issue? They have to register, exactly. and then we we'll put them on. And these are the things we have done. We're waiting for the next line of action when the list comes in and see how it will be worked on. It's not as assembly taking them off the, the common fund. It's a, it's a policy that came around because formerly they were just giving money. The money they were giving was 200 Ghana cities. For persons with disability, they have just one plea. The district has over 650 PWDs and more than 100 of them are persons over 60 years of age. For persons with disability in the central district of the Ashanti region, this directive taking them off the common fund and placing them on the LEAP program is simply killing them. They have kids who are in school at the junior high school and senior high school level, which they are taking care of. And the meagre resources offered by LEAP is simply not enough. They are simply asking government to reverse this directive. Bright Nanafo, TV3, in Suta. And that's all for Mission Tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. You are still live on News 360. We return with more news after the break. Please stay with us.